Hey, I'm the Dino Horse, and this is part one of my Spiral Knights tutorial. Spiral Knights is a free-to-play MMORPG. Um, you can get it at Steam, or you can get it at the website SpiralKnights.com. I'll put the link below. And you just create an account, download it, and you get to play. Um, the game makes its money on micro, micro or in-game transactions. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and this will be a non-live commentary, so if the screen and I don't match up, I apologize. Let's create a knight. You can choose from three different helmets, three different gear types, and seven different color sets, besides the ones that you see below, the personal colors. You're pretty limited on what your basic appearance is before you start getting armor and stuff. So it may take a while to get something that you're pretty happy with. Because sometimes you have to compromise with certain colors or stuff because you're pretty limited. So I'm going to take a few minutes and customize my character here. Here, I'll speed it up for you. Alright, um, that's pretty good. Let's name her Dino Horse. There we go. Um, one more check at the helmets. Nah. Oh, and these arrows up here, you can use them to rotate your character. To see the back and the sides and everything. See? Alright, let's go. Alright, so the loading on my computer, or... Yeah, my computer. I've never seen anyone have this such slow. Um, takes a while. So I'll just speed it up just a little bit for you. Here we go. Alright. Um, the basic story is that these Spiral Knights have come to this planet in search of materials and all that. And to fight evil people, I guess. The story's kind of confusing. Alright. You can use your left click and point to move around. Or you could use the WASD, holding two of them to go direct diagonally. Yeah, I can't talk today. Um, right click to swing your sword or shoot your gun. Right now I'm swinging my short sword. Nah. Space to change your weapon. Shoot your gun. These are the basic instruments, so you get more later. Um, X to choose your shield. It limits your movement and only takes a little bit of damage and um, has a limited time span. Alright, let's just take down all these trees. You always want to take down all the um, breakable items in the level because they may be hiding money. Here we go. Crowns. The bronze ones only award you one crown. Crowns are the um, currency of the game, if you couldn't tell. You use it to buy things such as armor or weapons or trinkets, which I'll get into later. These are jellies, they just take a little bit of time. Usually don't get hurt on them. Health boxes. Right now I'm not hurt, so I'm not going to absorb any. Here's some more money. There we go. Now let's break down these trees. Ah, there's a jelly. Normally, you won't find money in the trees. Sometimes you'll find one or two coins. Usually, you can find them in the grass or the similar breakable objects because they change from level to level. Those things explode on impact, so you don't want to, like, hit them with your sword because that would be bad. There you go. Take these down. Destroy these jellies. 
the little red ring you see around them are is the attack radius. Um, all right, this is your energy bar. The purple numbers is your crystal energy, and the blue bar is your mist. Um, let's see. Up here is your mini map. You could tell where you are. Um, depth indicates something we'll get to later. This is your HUD. This is your um, crowns, and this is the danger level. This is your health, your weapon, your heat, um, remember space change, and that's where your health capsules go, which you get in later levels. Let's get on it. I'm explaining everything really briefly on this level, so um, later on I'll get in more depth. Right now I just want to get you through the little tutorial stage and then I'll get you through more of the game. Oh, the silver coins, they give you a little bit more money. There's um, multiple different coins. I think the largest one is a large gold coin you only get certain times and I think that gives you 10. I'd have to look it up. There's also Spiral Knights Wiki, just look it up and um, it has a lot of information in it. It's not complete yet because this game isn't that old, but um... Yeah, those are the switches you need it to lower the gate. Kill these little guys. If you see little orange dots, that's your heat. Um, it's like the experience points of Spiral Knights. You use it to level up your weapons. I think the cap is 10. Yeah, the cap is 10. There we go. These are the treasure boxes as that sign nicely explains. You can find money and hearts in it. Here's some more explody blocks. If there's any next to it, like you can see here, they will also explode. You could use the explosion blocks to harm your enemies. Sometimes if you get, you could draw a few em enemies to the explosion blocks and take a lot of them out. Here we go. I'm gonna take these out so I don't actually hit them. I've had it before where I've just like been fighting and then all of a sudden I'm hitting ten explosion blocks. That's not fun. Alright, next area. I usually choose not to lure them to um, the explosion blocks because enemies can appear behind you and sometimes they'll get to large numbers and then the explosion blocks will barely do a dent on them. Normally you just want to take them out as soon as they appear. There we go. Alright, so this is it. Um, next episode, I will be showing you the rescue camp and the other things in more detail. Um, anything else I forgot? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the menus. You could choose basically general. You can see all the options here. Um, chat options. Up here. There we go. Um, those come in handy later when you're actually playing with people. These are all of the um, different key settings. You can go through them and change them how you like. These show you, these are prompts that show up when you're about to use something or spend something. And this is just the information. Alright, so that's about it. Um, this has been the Dino Horse teaching you how to play Spiral Knights. Tune in for the next episode.